Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome to North Wales side by side. You find me once again sat in the GR Sport. Today it's story time. And the story all started five months ago. Five months ago, a really good friend of mine was badgering the crap out of me to find him a car. Due to the nature of his work, he runs around in company vehicles. So his need for a car is absolute minimal. So he's not owned a car for many, many years. And he said to me, I want to buy a car. I need a car. He says, my wife's got a car, but it's a company car. I can't use it if I want to go out. I've got to keep using my van. So he says, find me a car. So I said to him, okay, if I'm looking for a car, I need to know what you want. He says, it's got to be a hatchback and it's got to be fast. So the first thing I said to him is, get a Yaris GR, get a two door one, four wheel drive, 1600 turbo. So he says, all right, find me one. They're nigh on impossible to find. You can't order them off Toyota brand new because they've now taken them off the order list of cars to buy. And second hand ones, the price has gone through the roof because if he buys one, he, was, he wanted to buy pearl white with the circuit pack on it with low mileage and non-modified the prices were horrendous cheapest one we could find was about forty thousand pounds so he says no i'm not doing that too much what else do you reckon something that's really really quick so he starts going on oh, buy an audi rs3 something like that And then one evening he rings me up and he goes, I found a Golf R. 2016 Golf R. One owner from new with 50,000 miles on it, he says. And it's in a Volkswagen dealership. And it's got full Volkswagen service history with it, according to the uh, advert. So I says, all right, where is it? So he tells me where it is. It's in Altrincham. Okay, 95 miles from where we live. It's not a problem. It's a nice easy drive. We'll go over and have a look at it. The car's stunning. It's a metallic black and it's a six-speed manual. It's a non-DSG, which is what he wanted if he was buying a Golf R. So we take it for a test drive and this car drives absolutely amazing. Not a squeak, not a rattle, it's planted. It's a really, really nice car. So we go back to the dealership after test drive. And he says, I'll buy the car. But before we commit, I want to see all the service history. So they come out with a wad of paperwork like that. <coughs> the guy who owned this car, had uh, it not wanted for anything. Not long had its Aldex done, brake fluid changed, all its fluid, every fluid was changed on the car. It just had four brand new tyres. The car is mint, really, really nice car. So he says, I'll have the car, do the deal now, I'll pay you for it. You get it ready, let me know when it's ready. So he paid for the car and off we go. Two days later, they ring him up, car's been PDI'd, car's ready, but in the meantime we've been talking, and this car was still, you could still put an extra two years warranty on this car, extended Volkswagen warranty, so he decides he's going down that route. So when we get to the dealership to pick the car up, 
we saw the sales manager and said to him, we want to put the two years Volkswagen extended warranty on the car. So he pays for that. We drive the car back to North Wales where we live, 95 miles. In the preceding five months, he does no more than 500 miles on this car. Like I said, he, he drives a company van for his living. So his, all his mileage is done in the van and the car was only really a toy. That's all it was, a toy. Something to go for a blast in. Something to go out, see his mates in, things like that, rather than taking the van. One night I get a phone call and he says, Something wrong with the car. Can't quite put my finger on it, he says. I'm not sure if it's because I've just been out in it and it's absolutely pouring with rain. And he says, I was rolling on in fourth gear and I'm not sure if it was losing traction, spinning the wheels or what. I says, hmm, if you were going to do that, it would have done it in first, second and third gear. Not on a roll on. Normally if you're, you've got something like that happening and it's on a roll on. I says, maybe you've got the first signs of a clutch slipping. He goes, I hadn't thought of that. So I says, you've got the warranty on the car. Run it up to the dealership in Slandon Junction. They're only 15 miles from where he lives. So he runs it up to Volkswagen in Slandon Junction. He asks him, will you have a look at my car? He says, I think I've got a problem with the clutch. So they said, yeah, we'll do that. One of the techies goes out with him. And it's another really, really wet day. But the te they, they come back with the conclusion that the clutch is just beginning to go. So he goes and sees the service manager in Slandino Junction's Volkswagen and says, OK, I've got this two year extended warranty on this Volkswagen. Can you do the clutch for me? And they categorically turned round and said, no, we won't do the clutch on that car for two reasons. We never sold you the car. We never sold you the warranty. You need to go back to the dealership that sold you the car and sold you the warranty. This warranty is a Volkswagen two-year extended warranty. Which I find a bit peculiar that a Volkswagen dealership won't investigate the problem under warranty. So he says, fair enough, if you're not willing to do it, I'll take the car back to the dealership where I bought it from. So... He rings them up, tells them he's bringing the car back. He's had it five months and done less than 500 miles in it. Because I now feel a little bit guilty that he's bought a car that's got a potential problem, I said to him, look, like we did when we bought the car, I'll come up with you. Because you're going to need to get home. So I follows him up to the dealership. We drops the car off, leaves him the keys, comes home. Three days later, he gets a phone call. They've road tested the car and they've come back and said, yes, definitely the clutch is just beginning to slip. So he says, well, I've got the two year warranty on the car, which I bought off you. It's okay, he says, the Volkswagen said to him, look, it's not a problem, we'll investigate further, but if we find nothing wrong with the clutch, you're liable to the labour. So he, he agreed to that, fair enough. He'll cover the labour if they find nothing wrong. If they find there's a problem, they've said, well, we'll fix it for you. They then ring him back and say, yep, we've got your car in bits, we've got the gearbox out. And definitely it needs a new clutch. 
So we're going to put a, a genuine Volkswagen clutch in the car. We'll ring you when it's ready. So what's the date today? The 31st today. So Wednesday the 29th of March. They ring him. Your car's ready. You need come and collect it. So Thursday the 30th. Once again. I pick him up from his house. And we run up to the dealership to collect the car. And whilst we're in the car talking. As we're driving up to this dealership. We're, we're talking about the car. And the fact that. They've done it under warranty. It's not costing him not costing him a penny. Brilliant. That's ace. Absolutely brilliant. So we get there, goes and finds the service manager, introduces ourselves, sits down with the service manager. Service manager says, I'll go and get the keys, I'll go and get you the paperwork. So he comes back with a set of keys. He then comes back with an invoice, and on the invoice, it's got dealership's name, car registration, as you get on an invoice, mileage, work completed, a list of parts, and it's got at the bottom, zero, 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 there's no cost. So, uh, my next question to the service manager was, What's the warranty on the work you've just done? And what's the warranty on the clutch? And the service manager stopped for a couple of seconds and he came back and he goes, there is no warranty on the clutch. There's no warranty on the work that we've just done to this car. And that took me aback. So... You've just done a job under warranty, but there's now no warranty on the clutch and there's no warranty on the labour. He says, oh, we've not done it under warranty. We've done it as a gesture of goodwill. That's why we've issued an invoice for zero. The dealership has covered the cost of the clutch and the labour. And these next words out of his mouth was, if you'd have paid, let's say for an example, £10, he says, to have this job done, you would have had a two-year warranty on the clutch and a two-year warranty on the labour. But we've done it as a gesture of goodwill. And he kept saying, a gesture of goodwill. So I says, it's great that you've done the clutch. It's great that you've covered the cost of the parts and covered the labour. But you're not going to put warranty on the job or the parts. No, he says, we've done this job as a gesture of goodwill. I want to know what are your thoughts on this little scenario now. That have done this job, parts, labour, done it for nothing, but the dealership's paid to do the job, but they're not willing to put a warranty on a job that they've done in the dealership. And it makes me think they're not confident in the work they've done, or is this just a get-out clause that they know? Type R clutches are weak out of the factory and they don't last very long. I don't know. But as my mate says, I'm not bothered. He says, I've got my car back. And he says, the way I feel about the car now, he says, I'm going to keep it over the summer and I'm getting rid of it. But he says, when somebody comes to buy it from me, I've got the history of having this receipt to say, at this mileage, this car had a genuine Volkswagen clutch fitted and fitted by Volkswagen. But that still leaves the matter of fact. There's no warranty on the work. There's no warranty on the parts. Please give me your views in the comments.
on this scenario because I just find it really really strange that a two-year extended warranty on the Volkswagen and they've not put it through the warranty scheme they've covered it themselves as a dealership I find that really peculiar why would a dealership pay it's it's a it's easy 12 1500 pound job why would they pay for that and not put it through the warranty scheme that Volkswagen offered on the car the two year scheme he bought I find it very peculiar please put it in the comments put put your views on it tell me what you think please like the video please consider subscribing to the channel I want to hear your views on this uh, this issue I, I just I just can't get my head around it thanks again for watching one of my videos